Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and the start of our biggest road trip yet as today we have got the travel vlog of our American 2022 road trip and with me today we've got no other than Adam and my family and it is really early in the morning we're just packing up the bags and getting ready to head over towards Heathrow Airport to start our vlog today. But the reason why I decided to begin it over here in our house is because of the delays over at Heathrow at the moment and I want to maximise the vlogging time for you guys and if it ends up between a two hour queue or something the last thing I want to be able to do is not get much out for you guys. So I'll start off here and we'll meet the Heathrow, we'll show you around, take you on the plane and yeah. begin our vlog over towards, he not Heathrow, we're going to be over towards JFK. And Adam are you excited for our trip and we'll explain more in Heathrow. Yeah. But it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Well, you know, it's going to be so great to get off to of course, go out and go back out to the United States. I mean, we haven't been out there for three years. And you know what? That country is amazing. I mean, and you know, it's going to be so great to get out there. Of course, we're going to theme parks, landmarks. And yeah, really just check out the country again. Because we've never really done the east side. And we're not actually going down directly the east coast. But we're sort of sort of staying that side, which is quite nice. Because um, we get to a different part of America. Because we've usually, well, before we've just saw Florida and California. So we get to travel between 10 states. So yeah. It's, it's, gonna, it's going to be a pretty yeah. mental journey. Because we'll be covering it over for you guys in many many different videos you're going to have travel vlogs obviously in the car where we're going to get we're also probably going to do part one and part two in that bit plus every single theme park we go to we're from videos new york from a couple of videos you might do a separate channel as well to show you guys that on so there's going to be a lot coming out for you guys so if you do enjoy the video today make sure to like subscribe and comment down below but words literally cannot describe how excited i am the taxi is right outside right now let's go to heathrow airport to begin our trip And after making it through baggage as well as security, we are now over here in Heathrow Terminal 3 and about to head into our favourite restaurant, Nook Creator. Four times this year, I think. Three times this year, we've been here. Yeah, it is famous, you know. So, we've never been anywhere Terminal, but Terminal 3. Yeah, I mean, it's quite crazy. It's what we're seeing coming in, like, I mean, like, I mean, obviously, this airport's got so many terminals, and I think it's up to five, I think. And we've only done three, so. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice terminal, but I don't see We used to, we got through it very quickly, and actually, funny enough, everything was really smooth, efficient. We're now in here. The, the Thunderboards are playing actually an hour earlier. Yeah, right, so pretty cool. So hopefully we'll. I mean, at the moment we're getting there at like twelve something. Hopefully we'll get there possibly at eleven. So that could mean an early takeoff as well. You never know. Yeah, hopefully. But it's good to be in there. And you, are you excited as well? Excited, very excited. Very excited. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And it's reasonably quiet in here. Again, if it's normally a cute place to have, it does move very, very quickly. And when we do get in here, we'll tell you all about our trip. And we're going to be heading around because it's going to be. A long way yeah. ride because we're doing an awful lot of this. Of course, it's next three weeks, and I'm very excited to join us with us as well for this adventure. And after an amazing meal over in the curator, we are now sitting down and getting ready for only an hour to go to we board our flights. And Adam, how was the meal? Oh, you know, it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a classic, you know, like every time we come here, we sort of have to eat there. So, you know what, it's a great meal. And yeah, I mean, it's always a great start of the trip, you know. Yeah, exactly. All the stuff there's something we know. So we're really nice, good quality food. Not too long, I think we had like three sausage baps and we had some eggs sort of thing. And it came to like 19 quid, which for the airport <laughs> is not that awful. However, I think it's now a perfect time. I was sitting here to go and tell what we're doing. So we're starting yeah. off our trip. We're heading over towards New York yeah. City. We're going there for three days. Yeah. On the channel, we won't be doing like any full vlog. We'll be under yeah. our long road trip vlog. So we're just going to make sure a bit today as well yeah. as we arrive. And then obviously after that, we will then be heading on a road trip. I'm showing you on that one there. Yeah. So we're doing that for three days. Hence some tourist attractions, looking around. Nice. just exploring the city because that's what we really like to do on the channel. Just look around the cities like that more. Then after that, we're driving up all the way up to where near Niagara Canada Falls. to Niagara Falls. Uh, which is about six hours, I think, without any traffic, so not too bad. I mean, it's, it's sort of a quite a long distance sort of trip, you know, it's not too bad. And up there, of course, we're actually going to see some shots, like uh, an actual ride up there, of course, a shot tower. Uh, but unfortunately, because we're not actually going to Canada this time, uh, yeah, I mean, we can't actually cross the border or anything like that, um, because, I mean, it's just going to make it too complicated. So, yeah, yeah. so just to say this side with Niagara Falls, and of course, I know we're going to see one of the rarest coasts ever created, but next stop, we're actually heading down uh, another two hour drive, I think it is, to Waldemere. And yeah, yeah, this is actually a part. Ravine We're not definitely 
started to really get towards me. That's it all depends on timing because like it'll, yeah. obviously the traffic so much, so literally the park will close. So we'll try to get our best to get down there. We can run off for you guys there as well. But we'll, yeah, and we'll miss us at nine, so I think we should be able to get down there. Um, but yeah, it's not definitely confirmed. But also, they've got a good spinning coast there. You know, it's just, it looks like a nice park. However, however, the next day, I'm actually heading to a park which I've, I've always wanted to head to, and it's Cedar Point. I mean, this is a park well which class. any enthusiast out there needs to get to. It's the one park needs to get to. Of course, probably gonna have the best one of those crazy steel benches. Uh, you know, it looks in phenomenal, incredible RMC. Uh, and also, that will actually be our third RMC, which is pretty cool. Um, also, they've got some great attractions. Unfortunately, top four drives very sharp. You know what? We've got Maverick Millennium Force, and um, yeah, the list just goes on. Yeah, that is so good. We're going to Columbus Zoo. And then, yeah, yeah, and then after that, we're going to go down to Of course, that does actually have uh, two roller coasters down there, which is quite surprising. We, I mean, when we were booking, we didn't actually know. And yeah, we just suddenly realized, oh, yeah, look, they've actually got two roller coasters. They've got a spinning coaster and a little junior wooden coaster, which yeah. is quite cool. And then we're going down to Kings Island, where we're going to do some more rides there. Obviously, Ryan. I've heard some good things about like that park. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that park looks amazing. It, it looks very, like, scenic in a way, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and then after Kings Island, we're going to be driving. How far is it that drive? I think it's four hours. I'm not definitely sure. On That's down to Dollywood. That's Dollywood in Tennessee. Tennessee. Really cool. We might do a few mountain coasts. We're going to pass well. Kentucky as well. Yeah. And, ho and hopefully go to Bucky's. Yeah, has our home. We didn't have any idea. Specialist, if you don't know. Um, and then after that, we're going to be heading down to Carowinds, which Carowinds, again, is a huge bucket list bar. Obviously, in Charlotte, North Carolina. And they've got Fury 35, which is a huge bucket list coaster. Our second ever been a gear coaster. And then, of course, first been a ride. Exactly. So. And then after that, we're going to do another drive down to Florida where we're going to finish off our trip with Disney World and Universal for the final week. And across the whole of that trip, we'll be keeping all of that up to date for you guys, showing you videos throughout. And across the next month, we're going to post daily all these videos. You'll be able to access every single video we do from the trip. So if you want to see, if you're watching this right now, the chances are someone's already uploaded, so make sure to check them all out. It's going to be a very, very good trip. So I think with no further ado, we'll show you some clips around the terminal, show you some nice shops, and we're going to hello, and we're going to get going over towards Heath, not Heathrow, we're going to go towards JFK. We are in Heathrow. Let's go. We'll see you on the plane, guys. Exciting. Here we go, gate 22 on our way. Sick us on our flight. Woo woo. Flight-wise, I'm just see if I can get this up for you guys uh, here. We've got 
360 minutes remaining and we are very high. Wait, it's loading? It's loading up. We are... Okay, it's loading up. But yeah, it's been an amazing flight so far. I'm wide loaded up. So if you have enjoyed the video, it's nice to go comment down below because we've got so many more videos coming. But there we are. Here's the map. We've almost arrived at New York City. We have made it to New York City. And after a long flight and a taxi ride, we have finally made it over towards the Royal Hotel in New York City. And first impressions, it's huge. I mean, the amount of scars going on, I knew they were a tour, obviously, and we have been to something like London before, as well as LA, but the amount of scars going what's floating away, like driving down, like trying to panorama and stuff as well. I mean, everywhere you look, it's just scar going sky a uh, skyscraper, and I'm really excited in the bit to be able to get out here and explore everything that's offered, but, so far, I still about flights. How was the flights up here? Oh, I mean, you know what, like, the flights are here are incredible. Of course, my version of Atlantic, I think it was anyway. And you know what, I mean, they're always great to get out here. I mean, to be honest, like, they are quite expensive, they are fun to price side, but you know what, it's always a great flight, and honestly, like, the meals just get to go around, it's crazy. It was like, every, like, I don't know, every, every hour, maybe. It's, I mean, no, it just not stop. Constantly. It was crazy, but, you know, drinks were amazing, everything like that. And then we got a taxi, yeah. it cost you $100. <laughs> yeah, $90 on a taxi, plus tips. Yeah, it cost more than 100 in a big, but, you know. He was a nice guy, it took quite a while, I think, but the best part of an hour to get here by time. Yeah, so it's not quick, but once you get here, I mean, obviously there's going to be traffic because you're heading yeah. towards New York City. So yeah, it's just, less people around than I thought there'd be, actually. Yeah, it's quite, less, quite, less quite less yeah. I mean, you want to be able to, obviously, the tour see Times Square, which we did pass, was obviously packed, but overall, I'm really excited to see this. I think it's very unique, but it's going to be very, very awesome, and actually, being able to explore for the next two or three days is going to be really awesome, and we'll take you along today. We'll show you around all today there, and then tomorrow we're going to start the road trip power vlog. We will then go and continue with our overall trip until we get towards Florida at the end. But so far, I'm very excited about to get in. I think we're going to be heading down Central Park, take a bit of a stroll because we are a little bit tired. It's around 10 o'clock UK time. Right? We're going to, we're going to make sure we keep away till evening around here time. So we'll take a little stroll around New York, show you some clips from around all there, and keep you updated throughout. But yeah, I'm very excited. We'll give you a room tour as well in a bit. Oh yeah, but also as well, oh, we yeah. just first point out is that, you know, I mean, their pens are amazing pens. Like, I mean, yeah. watch out so, for the size, I mean. It's incredible. <laughs> as big as the skyscrapers. It's got like, the logo on it, it's like insane. Well, so. you got to understand, it only costs you £100 uh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, fee charge, <laughs> well, like room service charge. But, hey oh, it's going to be awesome. Let's go down it's to like New it. York City. And here we are inside of Central Park, and wow, this place is amazing. I mean, the city itself is fantastic. I really enjoy this. I know you're a bit still unsure well, about it. Opinions on that, but, but I really, I like the whole city feel. I love the amount of skyscrapers. That's what's really shocked me over here is the amount of skyscrapers there are. But walking it's down cool. here, I know, like the reasons up here, just like words cannot describe how big they are. I mean, no, they're just insane. they're as there. There's so many of them as well. We literally. The whole trip, basically, the walking part of the trip, but you walk from our hotel, is just a little bit down there, up here, and that's it. Yeah. And there's still something more to come, that's what's so exciting about it. Yeah. But this place here is fantastic. I mean, I thought it's going to be the highlight of the city for me personally, because you know, I'm more of a national park person, it's like seeing rivers, seeing stuff like mountains, all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, I'm more of like a national park person, and 
this is sort of getting of course being in a park itself i'm not sure if it is an actual park. i think it is but we just being in a park itself as far as you know? parks itself go especially in city he's good yeah, we've been this loads of this is this road, is my though. this is my favorite park in city like kind of a high park and yeah, stuff it's, it's not like, yeah, i mean high park's nice oh, enough, of course uh, in back in the uk uh, you know what it's definitely nice to be out here uh, of course it's experiencing a new park and i thought this is a lot more built up than high park but the book that we know when i say built up i don't mean that in a bad way i mean that it just it feels a lot more like there's some atmosphere going on. It feels a bit more. And what's nice about here as well is that we looked at, we didn't realize it's going to happen, but it's a local space. This is. I mean, yeah. walking down here, you see everyone with like their picnic rugs out. But guess again, in it's the city, this is the only park, and they're all playing games, having a little fun. It doesn't feel as touristy as I thought it would feel. No, I mean this is the thing. I mean, I enjoy seeing like just like people just sort of sitting down, lying down, and it definitely feels like there's a lot more like locals here instead of touristy people, and that's something that actually just surprised us, as you just said, because. I mean, this is actually quite a famous place, of course. It's Central Park, I mean, and uh, all the, pretty much all the movies are filmed there. Like, most movies are filmed there, I suppose. And, I mean, of course, all they're filmed in New York, of course. Um, yeah. And, you know, it, it definitely feels it's a lot more local, too, which is a bit strange. But, you know what, I'm actually really happy to be I, here. I'm nice. not a big fan, I think it's really overly tourist. So we've only been down to Times Square. You see it from, well, only obviously down when we went on the taxi. But this is my sort of thing. It's all thing where you just see people having fun, having a really good time, having their sort of locals feel around the sort of city and that's why we really love like, this place but especially with central park here the whole city is just like you can just look back on it it's just absolutely bonkers and i really look forward to tomorrow when we get a little less tired because again it's really late right now where we obviously are time we get a little bit less tired tomorrow and we can walk around here experience the whole city vibes but especially for your first day arriving to the city nothing beats a nice leisurely stroll through central yeah, park exactly. a landmark here in new york yeah And after spending an awful long time in Central Park, we thought we were there for a few hours, but we were there for so long. I mean, we only actually did half of a park, so we've got to go back in the future to do more of it. But that is amazing, love it so much. Yeah, definitely. And now we are on the way down towards Times Square to really finish off our day today, because we're getting a little bit tired now, but honestly, I cannot stand up how amazing Central Park is. That place is absolutely amazing. So many great areas, it's not like flat and not hot, it's just so no, like... It's really good. It's, it's really nice. nice. Um, but of course as well, now we thought, you know what, we have to go down to the Disney store because we thought that's a must do over here in New York. Um, and yeah, sorry, and yeah, but, you know, we just thought it's a must do over here in New York. And we thought we have to go down there today. So, so we'll probably visit him, I mean, in the future, like, in the next couple of days. And you know, we thought we must go down to the Disney store because it's yeah, fantastic. Exactly, so we're coming down here now, over towards Times Square and checking out. But I honestly think, I think when we first arrived here, I think this is the one word to describe it, overwhelming, in a good way. But you arrive and you're like, especially for us, like everywhere you look, it's just upwards. It's like mental compared to any city you've ever been to. It's so big, a lot quieter, a lot less touristy. And I feel actually very nice here from what we first seen. So it's very, yeah. very, very different from what we thought it was going to be like. However, it is just mental having it. But once you start getting your head around it, again, it's our first day. We we're going to go at four o'clock, so we're now we've only been away for around 24 hours. I hope, yeah, it's really. now 6.38 here, but like, I thought it was really exciting. So yeah, it's in four hours time we'll be uh, basically up for the whole day. So it is tiring and that's why it's kind of like really like wow, 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 everywhere we look. But it is also an absolutely amazing place. And seeing everything like right now in the glory, seeing all these yellow cows and seeing all these things that are going on, it's just unbelievable. And it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I see, I see what people love it. I'm not a big city person myself personally. I, I never go wrong, I like, I like visiting them sometimes, but I'm not a massive city person, but if you are, well, get yourself down here, because it is pretty mental if you ask me.
And after an amazing time over in New York City, we are back in our hotel room. And I do apologise if air conditioning is a little bit too loud over there, but it's nice to have some great conditioning on, on a 98, was it? No, 89 degree yeah. Fahrenheit day. So it's, pretty hot. it's been pretty hot today. I mean, we thought we were arriving here, but it's going to be around the same as the UK has. But the heat has just struck us. I mean, like, we're tired. It's obviously, here, here. I don't know what time it is now, English time, but we were thinking we're always out for an entire day. So it, it's been very, very tired, but very, very amazing too. Half one at home. Half one at home. And we got up at quarter past four this morning. So, yeah, it's like three hours off in the car. Really well. I mean, and also as well, like right now in New York, uh, the time's actually uh, 8.36. So, you know, that's actually pretty good because, I mean, we got to the 9 o'clock, so... Trading you know, for jet lag. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, of course, jet lag and everything. So, we did pretty well. I mean, this rival we did uh, three years ago in San Francisco, to be honest. And, you know, I mean, as long as you can, like, stay up a little bit later, it's fine and you should be all right, so... Yeah, you should be okay. I said, you've got to make what you plan for jet lag, but... I never tried too much. You're going to wake up early tomorrow. We're going to wake up really early in the morning. Maybe six, maybe seven. Yeah, if not early living out. I remember San Francisco going to wake up at four. So it's going to be crazy. But again, tomorrow we've got a whole day back at the park. I will be starting the travel vlog with the car. So that one we start over tomorrow. So if you want to check it out, you check it out there. We'll be doing the same sort of things today. Show you some little clips throughout, as well as to give you a surrounding of the whole of New York and what we do do because we've got a few tourist destinations tomorrow, which is going to be really nice yeah, to do as well. Cool. But have you guys enjoyed your day? I really love Central Park. I've been impressed with New York so far. Yeah, it has been absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to be back with us tomorrow. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the travel vlog from today. And if you have, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below to see even more videos just like this one here. But with all that said, I am shouted. I'm going to go to bed now. My name is Tom Derek from Theme Park Coasting and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye bye.